I'm threading three quarter inch black steel pipe to use for pipe clamps. If you follow my channel, you'll know that the last time I threaded a pipe, I screwed it up big time. In this episode, I went back in for another try and nailed it. What I mean to say is, I threaded it. It all started back in June of 2019. I ordered the cheapest pipe threading set on Amazon and had it shipped halfway around the world here to Pukekohe. That's when things started going south. Shipping set me back a bit, but it was still the cheapest option available to me, and still worth it. But then when I got pinged for customs duty, which didn't cost much, but all the fees and charges associated with it cost a damn fortune, things had started going pear-shaped as well. I finally took delivery in early August, and I got to work right away. Threading pipes was going really well, in fact, in the beginning. That is until after about four threads, my three-quarter inch die exploded in my face. Ah, well, okay, that's an exaggeration. I was so happily threading away that I didn't notice that I'd started to collapse the end of my pipe. And soon after that, I guess, was when the pressures got so high that the die head casting cracked and chunks started falling off. I didn't notice it until it was too late. I guess I was too busy grooving out to royalty-free background vlog music. Anyway, more about how and why it happened later. Okay, let's continue on with the theme of things turning to custard. I went online locally to order a replacement die head, and I found one for a great price and ordered it. And look at what showed up in the mail. First, a bit of background information. Pipe threads are most commonly produced to one of a handful of specifications in use around the world. The most commonly used set of specifications used in pipe clamps for woodworking is the American National Standard Pipe Thread Standards, often called National Pipe Thread for short. The two types of thread that all good DIY pipe threaders like myself and Cuffy need to be aware of are NPT, National Pipe Taper, and NPS, National Pipe Straight. A pipe clamp like my Bessie H-Body clamps is threaded with a female straight thread. That is, the threads are parallel to the pipe wall. Most pre-threaded pipes, males obviously, have a thread that is tapered for sealing, often without any thread sealant. A pipe threaded with straight thread can only be sealed with sealant, or maybe enclosed by a female tapered for low pressure sealing, but by and large, the type of pipes that are used with pipe clamps are originally intended for gas or fluids and will be tapered, and most commonly intended to be coupled with straight females. Thusly, if you are buying a pipe threading die kit like mine, it will be for tapered threads. My threading kit is NPT, but there are others such as BSP, British Standard Pipe. I won't get into the differences right now, but 3 quarter inch NPT threads are compatible with 3 quarter inch BSP threads for the purposes of pipe clamps, as their thread specs are very similar. So in summary, the most common scenario is for the female end to be straight, and for the male end to be tapered. So when you get your new pipe threading die in your hand, you'll be struck with an overwhelming desire to create a thread long enough on your pipe that sticks out the end of your pipe clamp and this will not work and I'll show you why. Most of us are familiar with using nuts and bolts and when we attach a nut to a bolt we screw it on so that the bolt protrudes past the end of the nut. Who in their right mind would put a nut on and only do it up this far. That would be crazy. But that's because bolts have straight threads on them and nuts also have straight threads on them. So they're not creating a seal, they're creating a coupling. 
Essentially, a nut on a bolt is supposed to be loose so that it can be tightened all the way up to the surface of the uh, material that you're bolting together and using a washer or whatever that's how it gets tightened. Pipes are different because they're designed not to go through. They're designed to stop halfway into their, uh, their female counterpart and the bond is formed by the wedging mechanical uh, action of the thread which is tapered so it'll go in uh, a certain way and then it'll wedge up against the side of the straight thread and you'll get a strong strong bond and a seal that way like i said before if you're not familiar with this concept you want your pipe to come in here and screw in all the way through this thread and come out here when you start threading the pipe the tapered die cutters are going to cut wider in the beginning and as you get further in the cuts are getting narrower and narrower and you end up with tapered thread that we've been talking about. If you were to try and make a thread that was long enough to go right through that pipe clamp and come out the other side, you would have to put in a higher thread count, which means that you would have to make the wide part progress further along here. But then what would happen is the narrow end of it can only be as narrow as the narrow end of the dies. So you'd end up with something like this. And I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but all is not lost. A quick email and some good customer service later, this is what arrived in the workshop. So the most common comments in my last video were one, why don't you go and just buy some pipes that are threaded already? Uh, number two, uh, you need to use oil, more oil, uh, blah -de blah -de blah about oil. And the other one was um, a few people said um, it probably broke because of the jerky motion that uh, that I was doing the threading with. So. A lot of people suggested that I just go out and buy pipes that are threaded or get them threaded at an engineering shop. But I don't know what kind of video I would make if I did that on my channel. Hey guys, welcome to my awesome video about pipes. I went to the store and bought all these pipes with threads on them and I'm gonna make plans. Look at this, I just screw them into the end and they are awesome. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and smash the like button. You guys have a special place. About the, the first one, um, so I didn't uh, want to go out and look for threaded pipes. I had seen them before in the past at Bunnings and places like that. And uh, I just decided it was too expensive. And I thought, why not? have a crack at threading my own and that's that's where we are now so um, I didn't uh, completely ignore these comments I actually went down to one of the engineering shops near where I live and I asked them you know what what are the options for getting pipes threaded and they told me that there's a guy that goes around some of the engineering shops and he threads pipes for people so there's that option um i didn't know that was a thing but it is 
If you want to see a video where someone threads pipes without breaking the pipe die, go check out Cuffy's, uh, Cuffy's Woodshop. So, I bought myself a pipe threader. Now I thought I'd go over the process that I'm using because I've done six or seven of these now and I'm now an expert. <laughs> go check out Cuffy's video, it's pretty sweet. He does all of his pipes in one hit without breaking the thing at all. Show off. Just got the first one done with the new die. It's looking pretty good. I didn't go as far this time and that was because I figured out that the way I broke the last one was by going too far into the narrow end of the taper. And I believe that uh, when you get too far into the narrow end, uh, the pipe either has to collapse to fit through that smaller space or the die has to expand to let the pipe through that small space and uh, in my case actually both happened so anyway I'm going to show you the, the thread here that I've just done now I've switched to clamping horizontally in the wood vise and it does still spin so I've got this engineer's vise on uh, on here and that just um, catches it on the bench here when it starts to to spin but here's the thread. And it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to try and uh, screw a clamp on it. So, um, the second thing was about the oil, and I was using 3M1 oil, and this is a multi-purpose oil, it's not a threading oil, and I asked the guy at the engineering shop, can you use 3M1 oil for cutting threads, and he said, yes. 3-in-1 oil is fine for cutting threads. You just have to make sure that it collects the swarf and pushes it along and provides a lubrication. So you use enough to provide those two functions. If you want to make that job easier, go and buy a special purpose lubricating thread and you will have an easier time of doing that. But 3-in-1 oil is okay. Uh, what was the other thing? Alright guys, so just wrapping this up now, I went out of my way to uh, to save a bit of money and I bought that thing from Amazon.com and um, I ended up breaking it and had to spend more money to get a replacement for it. So I ended up being down a bit with that, um, that customs uh, money that I had to pay as well. But overall, in the end, it still ended up being a lot cheaper than buying a set of pipe dies locally. Because I don't think you can buy that, that Chinese stuff here. You can only buy 
uh, decent brand stuff. And, um, you know, you're looking at quite a few hundred dollars for, for a set. And um, anyway, I got my pipes done and I'm really happy that I got them done. I've also got a couple of friends who, who want pipes threaded and I can just do that for them. And that, um, you know, it helps to, to offset the, the cost of things. And, you know, it's not all about the money. It's just um, one of those things that you you do because you want to um, just, as I said before, I wanted to have a crack at it and see um, if I could thread my own pipes. And and I can, and I'm really happy about that. Um, so, you know, that experience is um, what it's all about with having the, the wood shop, the, the workshop out there. And also I get that, uh, that intangible... Um, benefit of, of having that knowledge of doing the research about pipes. Uh, I've looked up all the um, specs on the national pipe and the British pipe and uh, the thread pitch of 60 degrees and 55 degrees and all that stuff and all that stuff's really interesting. I really enjoy it. So overall this has been an, uh, an experience uh, well worth it. So Guys, um, if you need pipes threaded, uh, I would recommend uh, having a go yourself. Um, and, you know, if you know me and you need pipes, well, just, just drop me a line and uh, maybe I'll, I'll hook you up. <laughs> All right, guys, cheers. Catch you later.